Hey everybody, we're talking about the drama today. Woo! Over this past weekend, I was at the lovely, illustrious, prestigious Ludwig Smash Invitational. Hooray! Hosted in beautiful this song. <laughs> it wasn't like this. I was at the Ludwig Smash Invitational. And I got tricked before I went out. This was in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I said, oh, I'm from the East Coast. Uh, I don't want to pack too cold. So I packed shorts and a lot of t-shirts. And I saw the Vegas weather, like 75, 70, whatever. It was very nice. Imagine my shock when I show up to Vegas and it's cold as hell and I have to wear a f***ing Twitch hoodie on a YouTube broadcast. Dude, I, I had no other hoodies. I didn't think I would be wearing this anywhere. I grabbed the one hoodie that I had and he made me fucking cover it up. He humiliated me in front of the whole world. Look at this motherfucker, laser focused. What's going on? Look at what he did to me. What is that? Of the look, what is that? What's what? What is what? What is that that you're wearing? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I'm team purple car, sorry. Okay, the purple car. All right, you know what? We're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to just keep that there for the rest of the broadcast, all right? I didn't even get paid for this activation. Like, this is a Mr. B sponsor bit, and I didn't even get paid for it. Which I think is kind of fucked up, considering that guy's rich as hell. They're both rich. Two millionaires bullying me on couch. Yeah, I'm the little guy here. I am but a humble smash caster, you know? And also, apparently, this came in. I, so I, I only saw this when later people like tweeted it at me. Uh, I, you know what? I thought I could get away with it. I'm team Bezos. I want my billionaire to win. Yeah, we had a big fight about it after, uh, right after this went off, I went up to him and I said, Hey, that was really unprofessional of you to do. And don't ever do that to me again. And he was like, Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know. It came off like he was kind of scared, but yeah, man, totally. I mean, I, you know, I wasn't trying to be intimidating. But it, it, I, I get told that I have that aura every once in a while. You know, I've been described as kind of a menacing uh, presence. Be nice to Ludwig? Well, he should have been nice to me. <laughs> okay, uh, so this was it, was, it was actually a very fun weekend, uh, except at the tables, because I am down $1,500, so, uh, and that's not a joke. Yeah, my boss, Alan, was like, here, I'm going to teach you to play craps. And I started playing craps. If you don't know what craps looks like, it's this. Everybody stands around and you roll a die and it's actually very easy. Uh, Alan, my, my boss at Panda, was like, hey, let's go play craps. I'll teach you how to play. I was like, okay, really fun. I went there and I lost $500. And then I took out $1,000 and I visited this little table here. This is called roulette. See this? And I said, I'll get it all back. I'll just bet on red. It's a coin flip. $500 on red. And then I lost again. By the way, <laughs> I want you to know, this is the third time I've spent a lot of money on red and lost. So I don't know what the fuck is going on in roulette, but it's always black. It's black every time. So what I'm trying to tell you is, go to Vegas and spend $1,000 on black. You will win. Anyway, I spent the last $500 Losing in blackjack. I spent all night getting 13 and 14, and Charles laughed at me. I was Mr. 13. It was embarrassing. One of the weirdest things I saw this weekend was this happened in real time. Void. Holy shit. Me and Mango hit the tables tonight, and we both ended up 10K. Legendary. Dude, there were like 30 people standing around that blackjack table. I was like, this feels parasocial as hell. Like they weren't even talking to them or like to anyone else. They were just standing around with drinks in their hand. Like an IRL Twitch chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is weird. I'm literally in this shot, like 20 feet away on the other side, losing my fucking mind in blackjack over and over. <laughs> But anyway, he won a lot of money. He won a lot of money. Aiden did not. Apparently, Aiden lost him a lot of money. Uh, did you guys hear how much money they lost? This is such a good clip. A big thank you to Eamon Gaiman. Aiden is the biggest sweetheart, by the way.
By the way, he has a background in Mario Strikers. I think I've said this a million times. Him and I both played Mario Strikers Charge, which makes him the coolest fucking guy on the planet. For getting it done against all odds, and he only lost over a hundred thousand dollars. How does? What the fuck? You lost two hundred thousand. You piece of what shit. You thought. It's double. What Are you, you thought. fucking kidding? Do you know how many mogul males I'll have to do? Do you know? Chess drama's <laughs> over. Twitch drama's <laughs> over. You piece of shit. We're gonna lose it all! Buy my fucking bidets, please! <laughs> See you later. <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> that is an incredible clip. Dude, the tournament itself was really cool. I think the greatest thing was a super fucking Mario got top three. Karama is crazy! Super fucking Mario, dude! That's what I'm saying. Now, a lot of talk was uh, w w was had regarding a certain analogy uh, that came up with Super Mario. Repeatedly. <laughs> Mario made it quite far in this tournament, which meant that there was much to discuss about Mario's place in the meta and how he is played at a top level. Reddit was uh, aghast, uh, quite upset about how often this certain analogy came up. This isn't going to make sense if you only see YouTube, by the way. The chat... I want you to explain it. Let the chat will ex chat you explain it so YouTube knows. Okay, he's on the carpet. Yeah, Mario pees on the carpet. He's a dog. Pee on the carpet. Mario's a cute puppy peeing on the carpet. You get it. YouTube, you get it. You know what it is. Now, let me be clear. Uh, there is only one person who's allowed to be upset. I don't care if Reddit's upset. I don't care if the chat is upset. I don't care if the YouTube viewers afterward are upset. The only person that I care about being upset is this poor man who was listening to the entire broadcast all weekend and had to hear it for three days straight. Slime had to listen to me screaming in his ear about Mario for three days. God bless him. The patience of a saint, truly. So, so, uh, there is a point somewhere in this VOD, and I don't know where it is, but I explained to Ludwig the pee analogy. And he's like, yeah, but couldn't that just be like a puppy, you know, chewing shoes or doing something else bad? And in my haste to get the bit over and done with so we could talk about the match, I said, hey, I'm a pee guy. Which, as soon as I said it, I realized I should not have said that. What I meant was, like, it's a visceral thing. It's not like a puppy chewing up shoes. Or like the car, I don't know, it's not like a puppy chewing on things. It's more visceral and, and, and angering when a puppy pees, a puppy pees on the carpet because you can't fix it right away. When it chews, shoes, whatever. And I meant to say that, but instead what I told the world was that I was a pee guy. Now, let me make this straight. Uh, that's not true. Whatever misinformation you may have heard on live broadcast, okay? It's not a Freudian slip. It's not a- no, guys, please. I, I was like, oh god, this is gonna live with me forever. So, in case you guys didn't hear, um, Mr. Beast came through with his feast of- Corpse bar? <laughs> Ew, that's gross. I'm not going to eat that. Uh, with his delicious chocolate bars. And so we had a bunch of them to eat on, uh, on set all throughout the weekend. And we all enjoyed them. Some of us more than others. <laughs> yeah, this is EE -E after trying the chocolate salt one. But look at him coming through. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm on camera. EE <laughs> -E doesn't like dark chocolate, only white chocolate. Hey, you're gonna have to go to his stream for that, brother. I'm not. I'm not continuing this bit. That's a, that's a that's an EE -E stream exclusive. No, <laughs> that bit ends here. But yeah, he uh, we we I, I actually ate a lot of them. Unironically. I mean, it's just a chocolate bar, but it's, you know, it's yummy. How do you unironic, how do you ironically eat a chocolate bar? The same way that ironically I drank Soylent. We drank Soylent extremely ironically. This is me drinking Soylent. Mmm. Soylent. That's ironic drinking. People got really mad at the commentary over the weekend, but I don't know really how to talk about that or address it. Um, I understand why people were mad, but I also don't really care. Smash has been esports or has had a fan base for so long. There's a population of viewers that have only known it as that and haven't seen like the 
the old days. You know what I mean? I'm not saying those people are wrong, right? If people are upset about us not talking about the game, that is because we have bred that, uh, that expectation, right? People are allowed to say what they want, but I'm also allowed to yell wahoo every time Mario gets a down air because I would have done that at my local 10 years ago. I would have stood behind boss playing Mario and every time he got that, yeah, every time. That shit is so fucking funny to me. <laughs> and people on Reddit hated it. They were like, I hate, Mar I hate Coney. He makes, these jokes are so unfunny. He takes it too far. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. You don't understand. I don't care if you're entertained. I'm doing this for me. Like, if I'm on the summit couch, I'm not casting for anybody except these five dudes. If you want to hang out with us, sure. If you don't, okay, dude. Show up next week. Everybody's like, oh, we need shit to talk about the match. We need serious commentary. You get that 51 weeks out of the year. Like, there are majors every fucking week. I don't understand. Oh, Summit is too casual. Ludwig's event is too casual. That's fine. Coney, your first mistake was looking at Smash Reddit for their crusty ass opinion. No, 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 no. I, I, I try to keep my finger on the pulse of what people are saying because I do think it's valuable. And if people have genuine criticism, I care about it and I read that. But again, I don't really care. I mean, just a week ago, we were praising CODcasters for being like, Oh, Pikachu is a mouse! Boom, 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 bam, bop! Oh, electricity from the heavens! Like, level one Let's Play commentary. Which is fine! They were amazing! It was very funny! They're great casters, and they didn't know what they were watching, so they go to level one Let's Play commentary. They did a phenomenal job! And people are like, oh, we should have that. Oh, yeah? Well, how about I yell Yahoo every time Mario kills? That's a different person. These two people want two different things. If someone is joyless, that's not my problem. Dude, no, genuinely, I'm, I'm not even saying that. If you tune into high-level Smash, especially the most stacked tournament ever, the most stacked tournament of all time, and some asshole keeps screaming into the mic every time Mario gets a kill, you're allowed to be mad at it. Totally. Absolutely, I get it. But this is my tournament. I get to do that. I'm allowed to do it. But the reason that I bring it up is just like, if this was you, I understand why you're upset. Just wait till next week, okay? You're gonna be fine. There will be better commentary. And I think we tightened it a lot up for uh, the top eight. Like, the top eight was great. But the biggest news of the weekend, actually... <laughs> oh, baby. I know you saw it. Oh, baby! It's happening! Tonight! Tonight! ARMS Online Services! Finally! The update we've been waiting for! A brand new character! New stages! Arms 2? Finally! Tonight is the- I think this already happened. I think it was just like server maintenance. But they still care about the game! Let's go! Yo! I only have one. I lost the other one. Yo! <laughs> I- I- dude, I played the arms theme and I lost 15 viewers. The fuck? I'm not playing the game, guys. I'm. <laughs> oh boy, here comes the arms. <laughs> Turn that shit off. Okay, uh, I heard about some salt that happened uh, at the event. Now I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, something else happened at the event. Uh oh. <laughs> we need to check him game disc. Hmm. That is not normally. Zane is skilled player, but that is not normally. I was there in the room when this set was happening, and uh, Hbox was literally jumping out of his chair when the rests missed. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe this shit wasn't hitting. And to be fair, maybe he's right. I don't play melee, but that dude was betting on these rests. Yeah, this one too. This was against Wizzy. Now, apparently this sh this is a Z-axis thing. Maybe it should have hit. I don't I don't know. But Hbox was like trying to figure out what was going on with the game. But it doesn't matter. He ended up getting second. And on the path to getting second, he defeated another player. <laughs> that player is known as Large Lef. I heard about this. Let's see if he's spinning. So for context, Leffen lost to Hbox. I think for the first time in in like two years, 
It's been a while. Give me your dream rule. You are the chairman of Smash. What's the rule? Oh, called? Ludwig is, he's always thinking about the content. <laughs> Ludwig is creating content. The, he is content braid. That's so, yeah. That's oh, so good. Like we basically look at the campiest games of uh -huh. like most of most platform camping. We own another. We check the airtime limit. <laughs> you implement an airtime limit. Air it doesn't have limit. to be egregious. Here's the thing about this. Do you know the streamer Amaranth? Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, oh, you, oh, yeah, no, you do. Of course, like we will always skirt the line. I yes. Guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Amaranth is successful at skirting the but line. But there's no line. The service. Yeah, but the, it's fucking hookers the moment... and porn on Twitch. <laughs> Ah! That's an undo. That's an undo. He didn't mean it like that. He didn't mean it like that. He didn't look at him. Oh no. He's like <laughs> Waffles. Waffles. Hmm. <laughs> what did he mean by this? Waffles is killing me. <laughs> He's kind of spitting actually. Hmm. Okay. I I think I get the gist. I see what Leffin is saying. He's saying that you 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 shouldn't be able to stall out entire games and make the opponent come to you. Yeah, that's just melee. That's just any Smash game. I don't know what you're supposed to... Kony, look at the gameplay. He's laser camping on FD two stocks down. <laughs> that's Leffen's problem to solve then. Oh, totally. Uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, he's beaten HBox every time for two years. This is his issue. Because, like, it, it requires such patience. And then you have oh, your oh. moment before you go in. That's so... I, I, if, I, if I cast in melee, I'd be doing that. It, melee would hate me way more than ultimate. Every time... Fo ha! <laughs> when Fox hits a get-up attack, and he says, Ha! And then he gets shielded and smash attacked. It's so fucking funny. He does it when he does get-up attack. Somebody will sit at the ledge, shield, he'll do, Ha! And then he'll die. It's so fucking funny. But yeah, if, if no, you're, I, you have to... I get what Leffen's saying here, because, like, you have to, like... Oh, you're going to go, like... Go it's like yeah, a yeah, humble yeah, punch yeah. training okay. mode. Start, uh, <laughs> one sock against three socks for Puff. Are you going to play this style, or are you going to try to go, like... To go His next. ass is not playing. Go next, go next. Go next uh, is go home, bro. He broke him. He broke yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He got him. He broke him. <laughs> Hungry box in his mind. Uh, it's just like... I mean, what do you do? Maybe it's time to admit that melee kind of sucks. Maybe it's time for us all to move on to the newest, the latest and greatest, might be time for everybody to pick up Ultimate. The most balanced smash there's ever been. Maybe. I lost 50 viewers when I said that. <laughs> Never mind. Melee forever. Ne melee for... Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Melee forever. Melee forever. I love Melee. I love Melee. Oh, uh, Alamsa. Pog. Mango. 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 You guys? Put the camera on Hungry Box. Penalty if you run away so somebody put the camera on Hungry Box. What's one doing? Oh, he's, just put the camera. Be... Oh, he's listening to the stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that personally Yo, should become be a member right now. If you want a laser? <laughs> so HBox is literally listening to Leffen complain. And then uh, apparently he got blown the fuck out swiftly. <laughs> Maybe Leffen got what he wanted. It's doomed and he's just straight up ride. Oh my god, the empty hop. And that's gonna do it. I think if they're. Leffen won. <laughs> He got in his head. <laughs> Leffen lost the battle, but won the war. <laughs> I have your solution, and it's called branding. All right? So maybe your thoughts aren't wrong. He's always thinking of the content. This dude is content burnt. Look at him. Look at... He looks like Mr. Fucking Wonderful. He's already... He look, he's all content. This is the content stance. How do we monetize the rule set? <laughs> thoughts can't be coming out of your mouth, especially after losing. Oh yeah. Your thoughts need to be coming from a different source. So you yeah. need to little finger. You need to find. You need to find a plan. All right. You need to get in Cody's ear and be like, Cody, <laughs> isn't this annoying? That's true. <laughs> I mean, like, that, that's just I'm my opinion. I think <laughs> there's a couple melee He's rules right. that are like really. Leffen needs to find an influencer to infiltrate the community at the highest echelons. I have thought. I've thought of the solution. I just thought of it right now. We like, remove luck, the timer. <laughs> oh. Okay. And no, then, H we just stall more. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if he stalled into perpetuity. His brand and stock would go down so much. This is That's a already his brand. Th no, 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 no. That's no, true. No, he's right. It's in a timeout because the timer is kind of hype. If you did it for 30 minutes, uh -oh. it, I think this would be a branding issue, a branding gap, and then capitalism. <laughs> That's would motion solve in the ocean. It. He's right. He's right. If HBox has to stall forever, that means he spends more time at tournaments and less time streaming. Sub numbers go down. He's in the poorhouse. The market will decide. He stalls for three months, and he comes back to 300 subs. And then he has to go back to engineering. Incredible. Uh -oh. I'm out here making business. Yo, I'm trying to put my son. <laughs> oh no! He came back. Oh hell no! Xbox is on the mic. It's him. It's gotta be Hungry Box. 
It's got to be Hungry Box! All I'm going to say is that that's the first yeah. time I beat Leffen in like two years. And every time he's beaten me and laser camped me and did everything, have I gone to the mic and said change the rule set? Have I gone to the mic and said the system's wrong? Left and anyone else? It's been years. It's been 16 years. We're all great at the game. We're all phenomenal at the game, you included. I think we're both old enough and mature enough. I'll oh, listen to this fucking politician. <laughs> I may have beaten your ass, but you're good at the game. Please like. It's not about abusing a rule set, but getting outplayed. Speak. Also, nice taunt. That's about it. <laughs> okay, that's that's kind of based, actually. That's pretty good. This is actually Leffen. This is Leffen. Nice taunt. <laughs> uh, bro, hold on. I gotta show you guys something. This is where things get dicey. How do you kill? Yeah. Peep this shit. In the last game. Oh What's the my way? God! Oh my God. Jeez! We said the Diddy Kong is playing well. All right. Bro, what is this reaction from Tweak? <laughs> Tweak hit the sheesh for himself like that. Ooh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm kind of. I'm kind of. I'm kind. He turns around to look at us. Hey, yo, y'all see that, right? You just checking on us? You <laughs> 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 I didn't know if you guys got to Turn see it. Around, the face he made. Watch this. Right. Watch it. Look at this. Well. <laughs> Peep this zombie face. I love this. That's oh, it. Oh, Look at this. Wow. He's got the over smoke. Oh, he's a little smoke. Oh, That's so toxic. Bro came all the way from Japan. He might be the only player in the venue younger than Zomba. And Bro hit the fucking. Well. <laughs> Long flight, huh? <laughs> you came all the way here for that? Well, second seed, right? Oh, I can't. I can't. Second seed. I don't know why him going for a handshake with his hand straight up is disrespectful, but it is. Because <laughs> cause it's you come to me. This handshake is like... This handshake is very Italian, right? Like, come on. Shake my hand. I'm not coming over there. It's like holding up a treat so a dog goes on two legs. That's a little extreme. I don't think it's that far. Come on. Thanks for watching. Say bye. I don't even need to tell you to subscribe anymore because I'm at 100K. But if you want to, 200K soon to Hondo Watch. Bye, YouTube. Say bye, Twitch. Goodbye. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.